I really can say that uh, YouTube uh, really added a very important dimension to my life. Today, YouTube is a, uh, I would say, unlike Netflix, uh, which is very uh, focused in its, uh, in its programming on movies and TV shows and staying away from other formats. Uh, YouTube uh, is a lot broader uh, because it's an open platform, so it's a bit more difficult to restrict it. How much content is being uploaded every month, week, day, sure. minute, every, second? It's, uh, every, it's 400 hours of content every minute. And how can you find your way through this amount of content? The, the scale of the content is so large that uh, it is humanly impossible to organize that. So you have to use machine learning to do that and algorithms and uh, you know, detect what are the elements and meta, you know, have, have the right metadata and detect the right elements and the right user behavior and just match the user with the right piece of content. What are you doing to the other video industry? You know, I like to say that between Netflix and YouTube, I've been in like 13 years of video disruption, haven't disrupted nothing um, because there has not been much of a decline in uh, consumption of traditional TV. It's growing incredibly rapidly, um, very closely you know, trailing consumption. And uh, there is tremendous shift of advertising online and video today is gaining a very large share and growing very rapidly. So, and especially, you know, on mobile, it's growing at twice the rate. Uh, there was an interesting thing that happened about 18 months ago, which is every other internet platform and every traditional platform, the way Reed described it, uh, moved online into video. So there's been tremendous influx of uh, competition in the video space. Our business actually accelerated because I believe that the, the sheer amount of people in online video have actually increased the general awareness of online video and, and sort of general satisfaction of it for um, average consumer. Can you tell us what is the effect of YouTube on the general pattern of consumption? I actually think there's a, like one notable difference. If you, if you think about Netflix uh, and, or any TV channel, they're the ones who are creating demand for the content. Right, so the content creator makes the content and then reads algorithms, create the demand. In case of YouTube, it's the alg algorithms creating demand, but because we're an open platform, the content creator can also help that and drive demand for themselves with the user engagement. Suddenly what you see is a rising uh, class of creators who are incredibly savvy in finding audiences and building multi-million uh, person audiences for their content. And then on the advertiser side, Advertisers obviously love to shift to platforms that have a lot of consumer engagement, uh, which uh, we do, and, uh, and reach those consumers. And they like to work with people who know how to reach those consumers, which is the YouTube stars. So that's why you see a lot of shift of advertising uh, towards us. We're a very uh, mobile-heavy uh, platform. So uh, over half of our viewership is on mobile phones, uh, you know, driving a tremendous amount of consumption. So the sort of VR experience and 360 experience is the first time that mobile is actually more advanced than desktop or TV. So we obviously have a lot of interest in that area.